click file, click open, go to your removable disk, go toolbox folder, and find the foreground select tool folder and open up the foreground select tool one JPEG, which is basically a yellow circle with a white background. We're going to use a tool called foreground select tool. You click it, and you'll notice that your arrow now has a lasso. Click, drag, and draw a line that goes all the way around the circle. Try not to touch the circle. Okay, it doesn't matter how nice your line is. Um, it's not important, but I'll touch the yellow, and then go back to the first point where you started playing, and you get there, let go. As soon as you let go of your mouse, your left key on your mouse, you'll notice that the background is covered in a blue mask. Okay, and the second thing you'll notice is that there's no longer a lasso with your cursor. You'll see that there's a paintbrush. Okay, with the paintbrush, you can click, drag, and draw a line. Okay, and when I let go of the left mouse button, watch what happens. We have basically selected the yellow circle. Okay, everything outside has been masked. Now, at this point, you can basically do um, one last thing. You press enter on your keyboard. Okay, when you press enter on your keyboard, what happens? You'll notice that the background has been removed, and now there are the marching ants around the circle. Basically, means that the circle area inside has now been selected. We can go into colors, for example, and go to hue and saturation, and we can drag and change the color of that circle. Okay, change the lightness or darkness saturated or unsaturated the color is, but it only applies to what was inside the marching ants outline. Okay, so click OK, and then that's that. Likewise, I suppose we could can go edit copy and go into another file that you might had from the day before or in previous lesson, you can go edit, paste, and using a move tool, basically you can add that circle to another image that you already have. Okay. That's that.